Taking a stroll downtown is easier for some than others, and with cracks and steep inclines, it's even more difficult to get around. Coast TV's Tori Seagraves shows us how seemingly small problems with sidewalks can mean big issues for people with disabilities in Milford. Walking along this sidewalk, you might not see much wrong with it. But for those in wheelchairs like Don Tomsack, small imperfections in the concrete can be dangerous. Much like this corner that has caused her wheelchair to fall over. Because of the cracks in the holes, it's hard to stay on them without tipping over. Which means that then I have to go into the street and then I'm in people's way and, you know, that's a hassle and a headache for them and a little dangerous for me. The city of Milford started a sidewalk program a few years ago. While some sidewalks are left up to property owners to take care of, the city has options to help. The city offers financing and for the city to do the work for the residents. Uh, that way it's a little less of a burden on the individual homeowners um, or property owners. But consideration for people with disabilities doesn't end there. I fell in the store trying to get in because I had to get up out of the wheelchair, open the door and try and hold the door, but I only had the one hand. So, you know, it's kind of complicated. Milford is working to obtain funding through a grant program called Safe Streets for All to become a more accessible city. We're hoping to get some of that funding and that would hopefully fix all of the ADA ramp issues that we have in the city as well as some um, other ADA issues. Ultimately, Tom Zach would just like for Milford to be made safe for everyone. The next sidewalk repairs to be made by the city will be here along Macaulay Street in the next couple of weeks. I'm Tori Seagraves in Milford, Coast TV News.